Hi, this is Pete Guitar Martin here. I'm just going to show you today the double E guitar solo to We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. Had the opportunity years ago when I was in my early 20s to meet meet Mark Mark Farner, the leader of Grand Funk Railroader, and, Railroader, Railroad. Any rate, super great guy. He generously shared his time and tips with me. I got to talk with him for almost half an hour, I think, one-on-one. -on -one. Super nice guy, um, great band leader, you know, world-class performer. And um any rate, um, so, yeah, I love playing the song, besides the fact that it's just a great tune. But, you know, just remembering that personal experience with the guy, um, you know, it's the least I can do is play one of, at least one of his songs uh, every gig. And anyway, this is a cool uh, little tune, a uh, little double lead solo. It's not very hard. You know, this is, I think it has, it goes before, be, goes between straight harmonics. Like straight harmonics is like, I play a lead like, and like, that's all perfect fifths, you know, that would be straight harmony. This um, does a mixture of straight harmony and more functional harmony where you're going by scale steps. It starts out like in, in, in um, major thirds, major and minor thirds, basically within the major scale form of the D major scale. Anyway, I'm getting into a little bit too much detail because it's really not that hard to play, but the end is straight, straight harmony um, and they're, uh, they're major thirds. They're, they're just, they don't go with the scale step. They just stay a major third apart. So one would be played like this, which is the major third. The other is more of the root notes. And I think I hear it down, I, the, uh, the lower part played down here. I don't, I don't hear this, you know, because that'd be like this and you go all the way down the fifth string. I don't hear that timbre of fifth string. I hear it down here. This is the lower part. This is not the obviously good technique. I'm just doing it so you can see where my fingers are. Eighth fret, second string, and then seventh, eighth, seventh, then I go to third string, seventh fret. Then I hit the fourth string, seventh fret twice. Then we go down here to third string, fifth fret. And we, this is gonna be one finger, one fret with our first finger on the first, fourth fret actually, but it's two, these are finger numbers, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And the, and the rhythm is one and two and three and forty and a one. So that low part, which is, um, goes like this. One, two. I'll just, I won't sing. I'll just play it. And the, the main part, the melody part is this. Starts on the B. For, this is B on the 12th fret, second string. So let's go 12, 12, 10, 12, 10, and then third string 11. And then twice on the D on the 12th fret, fourth string. And now we do the same little pattern, but we start on the third string, ninth fret, one and two and three and four E and a one. It's, it's, it's hard to get the, um, you know, we've got actually three instruments playing this rhythm together. Uh, the Because the bass does it down here, um, down an octave, of course, because it's a bass, but it's on the, the, on the bass, it would be the third string, third fret. One. One and two and three and four E and a one. That's got to be tight rhythmically for it to sound good. It's, it's exactly what the uh, this rhythm is playing, only it's a couple octaves lower. I mean, what the uh, the first harmony part I showed you was. So this part starts out like this, right? And the bass is playing this. 
which if you play it on the guitar, it's one octave lower, but since it's the bass, it's, it's two octaves lower. Three and a one. Anyway, so let me play the, the, the two guitar parts now. Like I said, you could play that um, lower part here on the third, starting on third string, 12th fret, and basically in the 10th position, like you played the, the higher part, but then you're playing like fifth string, 12th fret, which is, I don't really hear that. And then you come up to the 10th fret with your second finger. The higher part is the ninth fret with your second finger on the third string. The lower part, if you're playing it in this position, would be the 10th fret, fourth string. So you could do it this way. I think it sounds better here. Ah, I messed up. I'll play this all of them up first. Now I'm not letting ring. I'm not letting them ring. So if I'm gonna play all with my first finger, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I gotta rock my finger so I don't get overlap of notes. Oh my gosh, I went seven minutes on that.